Hey, once again, how you doing? Got a little bit farther along on this uh, 55 Chevy. And I'm gonna just show you, um, this is kind of like the third segment of this uh, project and uh, got quite a bit done. I still got a little bit more to do, but uh, let me show you where we are so far. If you remember in uh, segment two of this project, uh, I uh, was cutting out those wheel tubs and kind of showed you where to cut and how to cut and all that stuff. And you know, uh, got a lot farther along. As a matter of fact, they're all in there. They're all sealed up. And uh, let me turn this phone around. I'll show you what I got. Okay, you remember 55 Chevy? And uh, got the rear end all up in there. I'll show you that in just a minute. But we'll start off with this trunk area um, to gain uh, access to more tire clearance. Um, you remember I was talking about these uh, tubs. So, like, when you open the trunk, you know, what you're going to see is these uh, the tubs. You can see this uh, section. I'm going to let the body shop guy, if he wants to fill that in, uh, are all moved over now. If you remember this bracket was over here and this width of this uh, brace right here is about what we cut out of right here so this bracket was welded to this side over here it's just now moved over and welded kind of filled in uh, you know same way on this side over here you can see this piece of steel it's welded up underneath it's welded on the top kind of filled in all around here, all back, all the way to the inside of the car. This is the brace that was over here. Now it's all welded to the outside here. But uh, what that does is just give you, uh, you know, the stock appearing look without a, you know, hot rod race car looking wheel tub. It's all, you know, pushed back. Remember this was all cut out, sealed it all in, welded it all, tapped it all together as best I could and uh, got the back seat back in there. And so moving all of this gives you more tire clearance, but you uh, retain the uh, retain the back seat. Uh, I'm sorry about the reflection, um, but that's all back in there now. And so that's looking pretty good. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. I got the, had to get some uh, uh, new lug nuts, this old 12 bolt was 61 and three quarter inches from the backing plate that was here um, on both sides, 61 and three quarter. That was with the leaf springs. Well, this new rear end housing is uh, 56 and a quarter. And so that's from the uh, disc brakes. This, this was drum brakes. Now we're going to disc brakes and 56 and a quarter with the uh, with the disc, uh, the, the rotor and the hat, where the wheel actually, the, the rim actually bolts up and rests against. So now we got plenty of more clearance. He, he had to grab that uh, wheel well and pull it out, but you can see up in there, uh, there's about four inches, uh, three, three and a half to four inches on both sides. And uh, you can see up in there, this is a 10 inch tire. And if you remember, he wanted a 12 inch tire or possibly a 12 inch slick if he decided to go to the track. Well, now you got plenty of room. Uh, there's roughly three or four inches. Let me hold this ruler up here. You can see it a little bit better. Uh, almost four inches, three and a half for sure, right against the frame rails. And it's the same thing on the outside over here. And so, uh, and there's the new rear end, fabricated, nine inch Ford, all sitting up in here. You see shocks are all mounted up in the front. So when you're looking down under the car, all you see is that rear end. It's not cluttered up with all that other stuff. The four bar setup is all in here. There's one bar here and one bar on the bottom. It goes over this side. You can see the frame rail and coilover shocks, panard bars mounted to the frame, and the shocks are mounted on that tube up on the top. And so, uh, you know, the drive shaft, you see up in there, it, the length of it was fine, but the uh, the U-joints, the it's gonna back up, it's gonna have to get cut off because the U-joints on that 12 bolt 
or smaller than what's needed on this uh, Ford 9 inch. The uh, 12 bolt rear end had a 1310 series. That's a 1310, and I'm going to use these tricky caps for the Ford 9 inch. It requires a, a 1350 series. So I got to take that out in just a minute and take it over to the drive shaft shop. But uh, all the rest of it, you can see up in there, went in, it's all welded, welded to the frame. Four bars are in and uh, going towards the front like it's supposed to. I got to work on these disc brakes. I don't have the uh, rotor and the hat on there right now, but I just want to show you how much tire clearance and to get all this stuff out of the way, this was the old bracket for the, the leaf spring, which is right in the way. And you get that out, you gain a little bit, and then you move these tubs, and you gain a whole lot. So now he's got plenty of tire clamps. And uh, the other thing I was just gonna show you is uh, when he brought this thing over, this little bolt that's right here on the fender, you see I made a sharpening mark kind of right there in the center of it on both sides. And when it was sitting on the ground when he brought it, kind of show you with this thing. Um, it, uh, the passenger side was a little crooked. The, the passenger side and the driver's side, that, to that mark on the ground with this ruler, when he brought it was uh, 20, 22 on the driver's side and 20, two and a half for some reason on the passenger side and uh, and so now what we've got sorry uh, is I've got uh, 18 not quite 18 and a half on both sides so you know the body's down uh, 20 uh, two two and a half inches roughly I got it jacked up now because I got to get that drive shaft out of there. But uh, yeah, he's got plenty of clearance for the 10 inch tire. And if he decides to get a different rim, I got to figure out what the offset is. But to keep it squared up in that wheel tub, there's plenty of room. Now the body's low with the front. I put those uh, adjustable tubular A-arms a month or so ago. And it, it moved the body and the front uh, car sat down low and of course these big tires had no clearance and now they sits real level and it's down you know much lower to the ground so you know that's kind of how it all worked out wheel tub still kind of looks stock appearing without a race car look and uh, uh, there's plenty of tire clearance so uh, there's that little mark that I made on this one too uh, kind of know where you started to get an idea to know where you end up. Okay, well that's it. Um, 12 bolt, leaf springs, the shocks. It was real rough riding. Uh, of course you can't do much when you got leaf springs. I mean, you just, you're limited on whatever it is. That's what it is. This thing's fully adjustable now, so it can go up or down. Probably won't have to vary off too much from where it is right now, but I'm gonna get to work on these mufflers. Get those, uh, this is all three inch. Uh, if you remember that LS engine is up in there. And so uh, I'll get that all back up under there. Get the drive shaft fixed up, get these brakes and uh, new brake line. This old brake line I, I took off. This is what was on there. It's, it's kind of shaped to go around that uh, 12 bolt, but I'm gonna put a new brake line, kind of mold it up around that rear end and, off we go, he's, he's pretty happy I sent him some pictures. So, uh, you know, once I get it back on the ground before it heads out of here, I'll kind of let you see that too. All right, well y'all take care. 55 Chevy, narrow rear end, sitting down a little lower without looking like it's all chopped up. Kind of got that pro touring look to it now. Put a 12 inch tire and it's sitting down low. It'll look real nice. Y'all take care, adios.